Hey everybody, welcome back. We're here in Anguilla. This is Sim Update 2 Beta version 1.4.16. I just posted a video showing the kind of laggy and jittery effects that we were getting or that I was getting in this particular build from yesterday. I had a bunch of CTDs, was not having any luck with it at all. Just loaded in about 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, and had another freeze it just it, i got to this point and it just completely froze i think i may have figured out what it is <laughs> i guess we'll see as time goes on here first thing to notice and i mentioned this in the other video you look at the main thread so I'm, I'm running what i generally run settings wise my olod is a little bit higher than it normally is green on the main thread i mean green on the main thread and that was we got that in the first or the second beta version for sim update 2 and i was completely amazed by it so i think it was the first one and then the the second and the third builds that went back to what it normally would be like you know main thread is about like you know 23 to 25 milliseconds which is what i've kind of generally always get and now with this build it's back down to uh 14 15 being back in the green it's fantastic uh i have my Frame rate's limited to 30 in the CFG file, and I'm using frame gen. I'll show you real quick here what uh, settings that I am running. DLSS super resolution and quality, AMD FSR3, and I think that was the issue. So we'll talk about that as we go through the video, but uh, I basically set everything to, I, ba I basically set the overall, the global rendering to ultra, and then I kind of change it to match what I like. I, I turn plants, rocks, and trees down to high, just because I'd rather get a little bit more performance. I don't really need, you know, rocks to be very clear. Uh, volumetric clouds are very important to me as our textures, uh, water waves does not go higher than high. And that's very important to me. I also turn off light shafts. I think they, they're kind of, they, you know, you don't see light shafts in real life. So I turn those off and motion blur is off. I have traffic airport quality and air traffic off because I'm running live traffic right now. And fauna is off. Fauna is the big FPS killer in both 2D and VR. So let's go back in here and we'll see what we get. I have a feeling this has been fixed and I have a feeling I know why, but we'll talk about that if it is indeed fixed. So let's go rotating beacon on. External power supply on, mixtures and props, full forward, master and battery switches on, fuel valves open, fuel pumps coming on, open that, we'll uh, turn on the mags, crack the throttles, take a look outside, make sure there's nobody out there to kill or maim, and we'll accidentally hit that button and there's our good friend there in the back left engine or right engine good start rather oil pressure is good left prop is clear good start oil pressure is good all right so close this bring the throttles back a little bit avionics master coming on master and bat or yeah, fuel pumps coming off if I turn the master battery switches off right now, that would be bad. All right, we'll lean the mixtures for taxi, transponders on standby. External power supply off. Release the parking brake. And uh, let's set the altimeter. All right, so. Ease in a little bit of power here. As soon as the airplane gets moving, you tap your brakes. Brakes are working. Get a look outside, make sure there's nothing out there to run into. One of the things that I thought about, uh, actually just to, I thought about it, I think over, over the course of time, but it just kind of popped back into my mind this morning was doing a video on things that real pilots do that sim pilots don't do. And there's a couple really good things that uh that i think i could share with you guys on that um 
one of them I am doing right now, but I gotta keep my gotta keep my secrets, right? Otherwise, you won't watch the video. I will right, we'll go fuel pumps on. Set the flaps. Doing one of them right now too. Uh, final approach course looks clear. Runway looks clear. Runway looks clear in this direction as well. And Willow looking beautiful today. And I can already tell you that the, the issue has been resolved. Because I, w I wouldn't have gotten this far without a stutter. Right, again, looking good. Mixtures and props full forward. Fuel pumps are on. Flaps are set. Get out on center line. Heading indicator checks with the runway number. Takeoff power is coming in. Takeoff power is set. Engine instruments are in the green. Airspeed is alive. Airspeed should come alive like pretty much. In, I mean, not instantly, but air, airspeed should come alive within the first definitely five seconds of your your power being set. And if it doesn't, you should start really. Uh, Wondering about that. I uh, bring some power out here. Props back 400 feet AGL. Start my turnout. The reason why I do 400 feet AGL in before I start, I never, I mean, never make a turn before 400 feet above the ground. No matter what I'm flying, no matter where I'm flying, the reason is is because um, that's the that's the the obstacle clearance rule for v, for IFR flight. If if you take if you take off on an IFR departure and you don't make any turns bef below 400 feet. You are ostensibly anyway guaranteed not to hit anything and the reason that hitch so that was a hitch right there but I can explain that one for you in a second so power is coming back props are coming back now let's get the get the nose down here a little bit so I'll tell you what I'll tell you what I did wrong or I not what I did wrong but I'll tell you what the issue was with the sim here in a second and nobody who is going through their own issues with loading or playing sim update 2 beta right now knows what I just figured out. At least, probably not. Just gonna get some trim in here. Ah, right, there we go. Alright, uh, rotor trim is good. Just gotta get those engines in sync. Alright, so with, uh, I'm running AMD frame gen. And, uh, the issue was, or is, that now in addition to resetting our DLSS file every time they update the sim, they also reset the AMD FSR3 file. And so I just updated the sim, obviously yesterday, and both of those files got reset. And I, I, I'm still, after all this time, I still sometimes forget to to check the the DLSS file and I definitely forget to check the AMD FSR 3 file so in in uh, DLSS swapper you can now update the AMD FSR 3 file as well. Look how good that water looks. My gosh. I mean, it just, it just has this beautiful teal blue. It's just so gorgeous. Um, 
And anyway, so after the last video I uploaded saying that the sim wasn't working, which it wasn't, I up up updated the FSR3 file and now it's working fine. The other thing I noticed was that I, last, the, it was probably the last driver update I did, I turned off the, uh, I turned off the driver shader cache in NVIDIA control panel and uh, cleared my shader caches and I forgot to turn it back on. So I've been flying now for, I don't know, a couple weeks probably with no shader cache. <laughs> it was working pretty well. So I'm, I'm almost kind of thinking maybe uh, I'll, I was, i do not know, maybe, maybe that's a thing. We'll see. Um, but I, uh, I enabled it again and just now. And so that little hitch that we saw in the beginning of the, uh, kind of as we were leveling off was from, uh, was from the shader cache being rebuilt. But I tell you, I was like all the, all the videos I did with the, uh, oh, one way to one way to remember to put your fuel pumps on is to never turn them off. Um, all of my videos that I did with the with the triple seven, which is a must buy, cannot emphasize this enough. Buy that airplane when it comes out; it is unbelievable. Uh, but all the videos I did with that are uh, with no shader cache. All right, so we're gonna go notch of flaps. Take a look down final because we do have live traffic enabled if it's working. And we'll, uh, yeah, so updating the FSR3 file, we're all set. some trim here. So we I mean, look at this green thread. Uh, your main thread is green. Which is pretty amazing. Save off there in the distance. And we'll just nose our way in here. All right, a few pumps on. Flaps are now set. Mixtures and props full forward. And we are set. Just trim in here. Bit of right to left crosswind I can see there with the uh, the windsock. Yeah, and center line. Power coming out, a little bit of a hitch there. Power is all the way out. Hold it, hold it, hold it. A little left rudder, a little right aileron. Not enough of either. <laughs> but, yeah, whatever. Full right aileron correction for the crosswind. Once you touch down, you put it in full full aileron correction. And clearly, uh, live traffic's not working. Or, if, dude, no, I definitely turned it on. I definitely turned it on. And once you roll out of that wind, you can let the uh, crosswind correction go. I've got the, I've got the uh, mixtures lean for taxi. Boy, I'm on a roll today. I never turned my nav or strobe lights on. I never turned my tank light, my landing light on. So there's no need to turn any of them off. That's fantastic. Like I said, when, if, you, if you want to remember to turn your fuel pumps on before landing, just forget to turn them off before you, after you take off, and then you're all set. This is why God created checklists, by the way.
something that's one of the, one of my favorite things in aviation is the things that we do on every single flight we have checklists for the things that we hope we never have to do in our lives like uh engine fire checklist uh you know power loss of power checklist loss of, loss of electric checklist things like that those things we have to remember by heart and we hope we never have to do them whereas the things that we do every single flight <laughs> you need you need written down it's kind of weird the way the human mind works so if you're, if you're a student pilot you want to save some money just pull your mixtures as you roll into a stop might save you that tenth on the uh on the Hobbs meter so mixtures to idle cutoff throttles are idle set the parking brake lights coming off avionics master coming off uh flaps the, f the flap indication is messed up on this plane it, when you go full flaps it shows up um flaps coming out fuel pumps are off mags are off avionics master and battery switches off um let's set the shocks and the steps come over here and we'll open the doors and then i will show you what i'm talking about with dlss swapper here in a second but i mean yeah in uh when you swing the view around you can get you get you can see the fps will drop a little bit but i mean generally speaking we're pegged at 60. main thread is green i mean which is really really good and uh yeah i'm i'm quite happy with what i'm looking at let me show you real quick what i mean on dlss swapper here all right here we are in dlss swapper if you click on flight sim 24 you're going to see you have dlss dlss frame generation and fsr 3.1 so they down you know they downgrade these all the time when there's a sim update i think the version they use is 3.8.1 i think but in any event, I just click the latest one, click swap. Same for DLSS frame gen. I don't even know if it if the frame gen mod uses this file, but I swap it anyway. But the new one for FlySim 24 is now this FSR 3.1. I don't know if it's new, 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 but I never really paid any attention to it prior to Sim Update 2 beta, because prior to Sim Update 2 beta, there was no FSR 3 frame gen in FlySim 24. And so they downgrade this one to i don't even think it's this i think it's one of these rather old version of it but just update it to this latest version 3.1.3 and then you know relaunch your sim and the stuttering and crashes and all that stuff frame gen in sim update 2 beta i don't know if generally speaking in the sim i would imagine it's probably true but specifically in sim update 2 beta Frame gen can cause issues. Frame gen can cause stuttering. It can cause freezing. It can cause crashes to desktop. So based on my limited uh, testing right now, having just updated that file, I literally 20 minutes ago, loaded into a flight, it completely froze, just like it had been doing yesterday after I updated to 1.4.16. Came in here, updated these files, updated the, the FSR3 file, and all of that behavior has gone away. So if you're having any of those issues, that will probably do the trick for you. And once the, once the Sim Update 2 comes out, I'll uh, make a point to make another video to make sure that people know this. So, but in the meantime, I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, back to it here with Sim Update 2 Beta. Take care.